Hello, I'm Paul Plato, the chaplain from Manual Bible College. This is the first of three presentations I wanted to do, short videos on different prayer strategies and Bible study strategies. The first one is called Lectio Divina. This is a, a way to look at the scriptures in a different way. It's to read it or listen to it in a very, very prayerful manner. As you absorb the scripture, you'll be reading it or listening to it multiple times. So it comes from the Latin meaning holy reading or divine reading. It's not dissecting the text. It's not hermeneutical. It's not breaking it down. It's meditating on it in prayer and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. So this goes back to almost to the start of Christianity in the third century origin. Uh, Ambrose then taught it to St. Augustine, the famous uh, saint. And uh, it was established in the sixth century by St. Benedict who uh, was the first church father that basically started the monastic movement, uh, codified into the current four-step process, not 12-step process, that's a different lecture, 12-step process by, uh, by Guido II in the 12th century. And uh, the Catholic Church has, has had Pope Benedict refresh that this is a a good thing to do. This is a valid thing to do. It's become much more popular among evangelicals fairly recently. So there's four parts to it. I love the Latin words, uh, lectio, reading, meditatio, meditation, oratio, or oratio, prayer, contemplatio, contemplation. We're going to look briefly at each of those. The first one, read the scripture, read it slowly, or you could be listening to it. Uh, the U version of the Bible is 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 super. You, if you've got it on your smartphone, you can read aloud passages to you in many different versions. I really recommend you you do both. You read it and you listen to it, uh, and just notice any word or phrase that kind of stays with you in this first reading. In the second one, read it a second time, and really really concentrate, meditate on it, uh, meditate on God's word, not not maybe meditation that's an emptying of your mind this is a filling of your mind with the holy spirit think about and notice that still small voice uh, that that says you know pay attention to me here's something that you know that i want you to know today uh, just allow that to perhaps illuminate any situation relationship any struggle that you're focusing on right now in the third reading or listening uh, say it as a prayer, commune directly with God, and again, listen to see if any further insights come. The fourth reading or listening, see again if there's anything, but in this case, listen for any direction from God, an application, a way to make this, uh, help you make a change in your life. Are there any practical insights that could come from it? So that's it. Uh, in a recent chapel, I, I talked about my experiences with with Lectio Divina and Psalm 23. Very, very familiar psalms. One of the first things I memorized as a young boy, and I can't say that I memorized a lot of things, so this was, you know, this, this is up there, but it's uh, very, very familiar, and yet I still found brand new insight in, in this very, very familiar psalm. So if you'd like to see my discussion of that, you can look at the chapel uh, that will be up on the YouTube chapels playlist for the Emmanuel Bible College YouTube channel. Uh, January 25th, 2022. I really encourage you to give this a try. You know, read and listen to Scripture both. It, it really activates both learning modes, the, the auditory, not auditor, auditory and, um, and visual modes. Uh, I hope you give it a try. Thank you.